Hello guys, this is Alex Copens and in today's video we're going to be sculpting an stylized girl, kind of like a Day of the Dead uh, theme. So let's get to it guys. First I'm going to start with, um, with my base mesh, female boss. You can find this female boss in the, my Comrade store, link in the description. So I'm just going to do a kind of like more cartoony shape of face in this case. So I'm just going to start modifying it a little bit. Let's copy that. Let's copy this. Perfect. That looks good. And then I'm going to dynamesh this. So let's dynamesh. Let's go. Let's move everything out. Make sure I'm masked by polyposis. Like that. Move these, and we're going to start creating our nice character right here. It's going to be a quick, quick, quick character. Okay, let's say that she's going to help take a really, a really big eyes. So let's um, change this uh, alpha to the regular one, alpha 28, and let's grab this big eyes. Maybe that, a couple of them. That's good. Let's cover a little bit this part as well. That's good. That's awesome. Awesome. Okay. That's good. Let's bring that nose a little bit out. So let me bring this. Like this. Like that. Can I miss that? Let's bring that nose. Smooth the nose a tiny bit like that. I'm not sure how the nose is gonna go, probably a little bit smaller than this. That's good. And let's make this a little bit longer. Nice, like that. Smaller. I'm just working on proportions right now. I'll have like I have like a bunch of references on the side, like some of them are kind of like a Robert de Jesus kind of like style. I really like his, his style, it's amazing. So, yeah, we can do something like that. So let's add the eyes. So I'm going to append. Ow. Oh, where are you going? Don't go anywhere. <laughs> append a sphere. There you go. Select the sphere. Let's rotate this 90 degrees. Bam. Like that. Let's just scale this down. I'm just breaking symmetry right now. Something like that, right there. Right there. Perfect. Okay, so I have this sphere. I'm going to duplicate this sphere. That's pretty good, I think so. So let's duplicate this and make it a little tiny bit bigger. Right there. Control Shift, knife curve, and I'm going to knife this down. Mostly right. Around the middle, go no. right there. Perfect. Let's see we mesh that. So I'm just going to see we mesh for the uh, target polygon count 0.5. See we mesh this. That's perfect. Let's rotate this up, duplicate, and rotate this down. Okay. Now I have these two. Uh, I'm going to merge these two down. Merge down. And I'm gonna go to polygroups and I'm gonna auto group these two. So I have two different polygroups right there. I'm gonna go to C plugin, sub to master and mirror. And okay, you should press X bar for symmetry. And the I do the same. C plugin, mirror, and okay. And press X for symmetry as well. So now that I have this, I'm going to mask by polygroups 100 and I like I really activated it. And then I'm just going to start moving this. It's kind of like, like around like that. It's a little bit higher, something like this. Like that. And the ones below, on the eyelid below, kind of like this. And a little bit going inside there. And I kind of like this going out. And I like to have like a, those kind of like thick eyelid 
it's like that for the stylized characters. Like that. Perfect. So I have a really, really nice face right there. Pretty much. Not like pretty much, but kind of. Let's go back to the face here. I'm gonna smooth this out a little bit, but I want to get the eyebrows cool. Let's turn this off the polyframe. I'm gonna go use this easy pinch. And I'm gonna pinch something. Take this and go through it a couple of times. So it gets a better shape. So right there, help the nose. Let's create the mouth. So let's create the mouth. We can do kind of like a really nice mouth. Just a little bit more intensity. I was working in another project that's for my next video. That let's see, see this one. Let's use this one. Yeah, it's more views. That's for the next one. It's a time lapse. It's gonna. That I'm going to do. I'm gonna kind of like spread my process. I had really a lot of fun time doing that one. Let's see. Kind of like carve this here for the lower lip. Okay. Don't like that. Then let's do the upper lip. Yes. Let's do something like this. Nah, it's not looking that good. Yeah, I know. Just have to pull this out a tiny bit like that. Like that. Okay. Yes. And okay. I'm not getting into too many details here. Something like that. Okay. Bin. Bin here. Let's push this part of the lip down. Yeah. Let's do the nose. Right there. And I might need more resolution here, so let's I'm gonna mesh this. That's much better. Okay, cool. And I like for the noses to be a little bit like that. Okay. Let's see me. And then let's add this part. Weird. Sometimes it does look weird. Sometimes you have to keep working on it until you get like a like a better result. You know, like that. So like this here. Get some of that volume there. Get a bit of the cheeks there. Very 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 soft. Okay. Let's put some here. Some volume there as well. Okay. That's pretty cool. Nice. Nice. It's looking alright. It's looking alright for now. But we still have to keep working on it and, and see what else can we do here. I'm gonna polish this part a little bit like this. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. And uh, you see, this is super weird right there, so I have to get. Mm -hmm. No, mask only goes to zero because that's gonna be weird there. No, right there. So I just need, need um, the jaw to be more, more pronounced like that. Something like this. Okay, that's much better. Mm -hmm. Let's fill out a little bit here. Like that. You want to get these brushes, you can get them in my combo store. Okay, that's good. Nice. That's 
cool. This is cool. Okay, just something like that. Okay. I'm going to flatten this back a little bit. Oh, like that. Okay. Cool. Oh. <coughs> Sorry. We hung the cough lately. This is being. Let's make this a little bit nicer. This transition it should be like that. Nicer transition there. Final mesh. Let's polish this. Boom, 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 boom. Right there. Let's keep doing the transition here. Nice and transition, something like that. Like this. Perfect. That looks good. That looks good. Okay. Let's see. Yes. Here too. Yes. Okay. So now that I have this part like that, I'm going to add the ears. So let's add the ears. I'm going to paint. Uh, sphere, there we go. And uh, let's move it to the side. Scale this down. Just gonna cut there, and I'm gonna cut the other side right there. And I think that's cool. Let's scale this down right there. Right here, this right mount right there. And it's like a nice, nice ear. Boom. Let's do more brush. Something like that. that. Sounds good. It's not that sounds good, you know. It is good. I'll make a cartoon character like that. Perfect. And 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 I'm gonna go see blocking mirror mirror that part as well. There you go, and I might get the eyes a little bit bigger. So let's see. Then I'm gonna try to get this out and in right there. And that's gonna make a big difference, I think. Let's see. Okay. And okay. Perfect. So that's pretty, 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 pretty cool. Let's see. Get this part here up down like that. I'm gonna take the easy polish, polish tiny bit here, just a tiny bit. Yes, perspective. That's looking better. And the eyes are super super big. So I just want to modify the head a tiny bit more. Let's do no, no with that one. The move brush. That yes, boom boom. It'll be bigger. It'll be bigger. bigger. To make it like more cartoonish style. That's good. So now that I have these parts here, I'm just gonna dynamish. I'm gonna take this, the body. Let's move this down. Merge down and merge down. Okay, so I have this. I'm gonna I'm gonna dynamic a little bit bigger to 56, so I don't lose as many details right there. So I can just go here and smooth this out like that. And I can smooth this out, and I can just work on that here, right there. I can just carve something like that. Make sure that you're not going in the other side. It's good cool for now. Let's keep carving, carving here. This goes kind of like that. Okay, let's move that out. Let's make the hole. Line a mesh. Let's do um, BDS. Go right there. There. It's going to be kind of carve this a little bit more right there. Let's move this out. Okay. Then add something here like that. Yes, boom, boom, CB, okay, build up and carve this down here. Okay. Nah, this one's are pretty good for now, I guess. Let's move this thing here down like that. 
Okay. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Now I need to kind of like get this part better because it looks kind of like really weird. So let's fix this. Yeah, that's much better. Make one like that. So it's going to make one a little bit weird. Okay. Perfect. So that's pretty good. And I believe I can fly. I'm just kidding. So I think this is good there. This is pretty good. I might get the eyes a tiny bit inside right here. Like that. Yes. Perfect. Something like that. Cool. Okay. And let's go back to this part. Yes. I'm gonna cut this for now. See so see. I'm just going to cut this like that. Let's move that up. I'm just going to like to give a little bit of you know, that line there. Without being too obvious. Just a little bit, tiny bit of volume right there. Goes right there here. Okay, so that's, that's kind of like good. That's good for me. To keep going and zero mesh that. So for zero meshing here, I'm gonna use the technique that I always use to zero mesh. And you can find in my tutorial step by step using zero measure guides. Okay. So first, I'm gonna create this kind of like a like a mask, like Batman, not like Robin, not like Batman, like Robin. I will say this one goes here and. One goes oh, I didn't like that, but and I didn't like that either. This has to go like that. Let's cut this. Okay. Now from here, right there, go up. I'm gonna go up here, right there. Now from this one, it's gonna go there. And I need to do the nostrils. Right there. Right there. Right there. And let's see if I change. I can still keep my my secret guides. Okay. So the nostrils there. Just kind of like a so, so the geometry kind of like a notice that part, you know. Yes, right there. So let's go to the silver mesh guides again. And I'm just gonna put a tiny bit here, like that. That looks good. And then from the chain. I'm gonna go all the way up and around the ear, all the way down to the neck and the neck right here, boom, and connect right here, boom, right there. Perfect. So now that I have that ready, I'm going to see remesh and see remesh target polygon count five. And let's see what we get. Okay, let's wait a little bit, hold, hold with me. Perfect, and look, you see, like, it just gets like a, like a kind of like nice topology right there, like an excellent, but it's very workable, very, very workable. Okay, anyways, let's keep working, I'm gonna control it a couple of times here. Mm. How many subdivisions for, that's good for me now, for now, and then I can just start adding some nice details. Okay, easy pinch. Oh, right there. Yes. Then this slip or a like that, and smooth it out. Okay, so I have that part, yes, and this, this, over here. Yeah, 
yes like that perfect and like that let's move this out in so you get like a nice nice nose and just smooth out tiny bit tiny bit okay then in here gonna is the easy pinch pinch that part and pinch that part here too right there and here we just wanna pinch this and let's wait for the auto save mm. okay that's good and let's pinch here a little bit down and let's move this out let's see let's pinch here right there and pinch here pinch out okay so remember if you don't have these brushes you can get that, these brushes in my gum, gum rod store gum rod store okay there you go and a nice cartoony character. And we still have to work a lot of work to do here. So, you know, something that changed a lot is the eyes. So let's work with the eyes. So the eyes, just gonna go with white BST. Make sure the RGB zone, I'm gonna make RGBM. And this is off. So I'm gonna fill objects here, but I'm gonna change the mat, mat, um, what is this one? The mat uh, toy, toy, toy plastic over here. I'm gonna fill object. Boom. There you go. I change this one here and I'm gonna go to a skin shade. But this is too wide for me. Let's make this a skin shade. Like that. And fill object. Perfect. There you go. So I have, have the eyes and I have the just the eyes, always, always the eyes change so much from, from your character. Okay, so BDS, I'm going to kind of like, this is when I use the pinch brush right here for this one, this one, like that, okay, perfect. And let's see, let's use the pinch brush for this one here, like that, yes, something like that, that's nice. A little bit more here, like this, boom, 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 okay, that's good, and then mine, move the mouth a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller, Ooh, what is doing here, that's kind of like weird, right there, That's perfect. And then let's move this out here. Okay, perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna paint the eyes on the eyes. I'm just gonna control W a couple of times. And I'm just gonna paint a really nice kind of like what kind of color of eyes? Let's do like a purple eyes. So BST, change this to black. Alright, have like RGB. And I'm just gonna start painting like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna go with purple. This, and paint this like that. Okay, I'm gonna go with something more clear, and it's gonna be right in the middle over here. Okay, and then I'm gonna go something way brighter, and not that much, probably. And control set again. Let's go like this. Oh, this side uh, right there. Let's go like a little bit darker up. Okay. And let's go black here. And let's do this smaller. Right there. Okay. And let's go back to this color. Change the RGB intensity and it's gonna come like this. Perfect. Okay. And it looks a little 
little bit creepy those eyes let's bring these eyes a little bit inside and obviously this looks creepy because you don't have like eyebrows you don't have like eyelashes and things like that so always gonna look super super different when you don't have things like that okay and it's nice if you can give like some expression to the eyes you know because right now they're pretty like if you move this a little bit up it's gonna make squinty eyes like that that makes, that makes it look nice okay There you go. So let's add a really nice eyebrow. So let's see. Boom. I'm just going to mask this. Yeah, mask rectangle, but you can just mask pen. It's the same, anyways. Not the same, but something similar. Mask, 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 mask. Mm. And look, you see, like you add the eyebrows and you just change it so much, like change, like normal sleep or what? Okay, so have the eyebrows right there. And something that I can do is go to extract and let's see what point two gives me. Ah, let's accept that, let's release that, and let's start the polygon kernel one, zero remesh. And there's this little skinny like that and move this inside, 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 like this. Okay, don't move it like that, so you're gonna mess it up. Okay, make sure that you're not getting this outside of the skin because it's gonna look super weird after. Okay, this was inside. Something like that. Okay. And it's definitely And you can just add a different color to this black or whatever. Right there. Perfect. So this is nice. Um uh, make this a little bit sharper. Boom. And then I can just take this. This one, make sure you delete the mask. I'm gonna mask this part here. Right there. Okay. And it doesn't matter like, if it's like a perfect or not perfect, but you can just extract this, accept. And after you accept that, you can just. Uh, Start the polygon one, and let's see what we get. Takes a while. No, you know, like here, you just scale this down. I just try to do it like as fast as I can, like this. Nice. And if you notice, like, like most of the time, my my stroke is or my the size of my brush is super super big. Okay. So I have this, and uh, I'm gonna control it a couple of times here. I'm gonna be DS, snake hook, and I'm gonna take one piece here. This one is hard to take. Oh, because I'm doing the wrong one. It's snake hook, so it's a BSH. Hmm. And you're gonna see that it's gonna start changing your character so much with the eyelashes. And let's look. So that's good. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. It's good. Also, if you want to do something like that, you can just um, for this one. Let me separate this a little bit like this. It's too much. Yeah. 
and you can do kind of like things like that, you know, whatever. Just an idea if you want to kind of like randomize that much better. Okay. So I feel that I need to fit the nose a little bit more. So let's fit the nose and make sure that you're selecting the right one here. Um, and let's see, the yes. Let's release that mask. I don't forget about those masks. I need to release them. Perfect. And obviously, this is gonna be this is gonna look so so weird until you definitely add add how um, let me say that yeah. I want to fix this first. No, I want your idea. Yes, yes, like this. Okay, it is. And let's get this a little bit deeper. Like that. Okay. Now, once you add the hair, it's going to look much better. Accept the target put it into one. See, we mesh. Here we go. Something like that. So let's see. Let's move this one down. And then we have to put some trickery. Not trickery, but. In. No, get out, get out, get out. And we have to go back <laughs> so I can get it up. Yes, like that. And yeah, let's see. Let's go and go here. Snake hook, the SH. And let's. I can see we match this again. Let's see. Bam. It kind of like fills out some geometry there. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Like that. And look how nice our character is looking out. Done. Perfect. Then we can like add some expression to it or something like that. So, okay, so for now. Let's add some hair. And I'm not sure what kind of hair I'm gonna add to it, but let's see. I have to go back to this one. Make sure I have the color here, fill object, uh, fill object. Okay. Perfect. So let's add, oh, no, like that. Let's add a lasso. <laughs> the hairline. Oh, I'm doing the wrong one. Boom. Uh, this is the object uh, here. Um, something like that. Nah. Let's go back again. Perspective off. That's why. When you mask something in a perspective, it's not gonna work. Okay. So now you can go perspective on. And this is kind of like two. So I need to change the perspective of mine. So before I do that, I'm just gonna kind of like extract. And uh, let's extract this 0 0.04 double. Extract and accept. Okay, so that's gonna be it. But now you know, like what I'm saying, like I like it's 
deforming too much, and that's because of the camera angle. So you go to draw and you change the camera to 85. So that gives it like a, like a nicer camera. And that's what I use in Blender for my renders. So now that I have the hair here, list, I release the mask, go back to this one, release the mask as well. Okay. And let's move this. Something like that. I'm still not sure what kind of her style I'm giving to this lady, but let's see. Okay, we have here. Let's hold on. Okay. Because then I will add kind of like expression. I will pre probably like a. Uh, um, I just want to make, to make this smaller. The eye. The eyebrows. They're super, 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 super big. I think the smaller eyebrows are nicer. Let's take this out tiny for the right eye. Yeah, like a really, really big eyebrows. And see, it's moving this out tiny bit there, right? Okay, perfect. So, let's give me a second. And let's see what can I do here. So, I probably want to get this here, kind of like a little bit like that. Uh, my Siri mesh these to 0.5 Siri mesh there. And I do it probably gonna add some details and then gonna Siri mesh again. Because I think that I know the style that I want to go with this. See, it's gonna take a little bit. So let's hold on. Stay with me. And there you go. Make this nice and like that. Perfect. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Perfect. That's good. It's nice. And uh, let's see. A control D a couple of times. And I'm going to add some things like that. Like really strands. It's so hard to see that so black, just like that. Of what I'm doing with the hair, you know, it's really, really, really hard to see. So, boom. Yep, something like that. Da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. This, bring this down like that. Okay, I bring this up a little bit here, and I'm gonna add a pen sphere 3D and this. this. Yes, get back to my hair and I might break the symmetry eventually here. Perfect. Okay, so now that I have that, 
I should do some clothes to it. So I have to add some reference to the clothes. I'll be right back. And I think I'm just gonna go with a simple strap right here. So let's take this one. Let's uh, mask this right there. Uh, that will be enough. It's probably like a little tiny bit higher. So let's see. It's well to be safe. Come on. Let's go. Okay. Let's see. Right there. Yeah. Kind of. Let's turn off the perspective. Uh, that's what I'm saying about the perspective. So let's go with a uh, rectangle and unmask this part right there. Boom, perfect. So that makes like a nicer, 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 nicer. Okay, so I have this. I'm gonna extract this thing zero, extract, accept, like this zero mesh to point 0.1, zero mesh. So wait for the calculation. And let's see what we get here. Just wait, hold on for it. And perfect. So have the zero mesh right there. So what I need to do is just kind of like pull it out. Boom. Sound. Sound like that. Sound. 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 Sound as well. Let's see. Some stuff that I don't like. I, how it looks like there. So I can just see the mesh again until I get like a really nice. That's much better. It's so like a better look there. Hopefully, nothing messed up in the back front. Right? That's, that's good. Yeah. That's good. The same. That's pretty good. And I have these, so I'm gonna go lower subdivisions there. And I'm going to mask. Let's mask the shoulders. I have a mask that inside. I must be, always be aware of that too. Okay. Let's reset this. Let's put it over here. Where the shoulders go, this a little bit down like that. Okay, release the mask and let's smooth this out. Good, this. I'm not gonna see that, just gonna be like with this, almost like that. Perfect. I will say it's perfect. That's where let's fix that back there. Hello, this is much better. We need to fix this here. Let's go down lower to fix that part. Down higher. So that's the thing working with subdivision is way, 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 way easier. Like fixing things. Okay, go low. And I kind of like want to. Make the color go here. here. A little bit more noticeable right there. And I don't want to. A little bit noticeable, but not that much. Like this. And I need to come tiny bit here. Not that much, let's move that out. Okay. Yep. Tiny bit more here. Just carving, carving, carving right there. Okay. So look. A character has come along a long, a long way. Um, I can use easy pinch here and pinch this. Put it here like that. Volume, yes. There you go. Perfect. Okay. So something that I'm gonna before I move into making 
the <coughs> uh, the expressions and things like that want to paint the face. So that face is gonna be kind of like a, a day of the death uh, face. Okay, so let's see how this is gonna look. So I'm gonna paint the whole face, so just the face. So what I'm going to do, let's see, face. I'm gonna mask the head, boom, right there. And this is gonna be all white. Do, 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 white, but not really, really like super white. It's kind of like a little bit gray. PST, RGB intensity 100, and fill object. Ah, now the mask pan, it's bare and fill object. Now I have the mask one. Okay, perfect. So now that I have that, I'm going to paint the eyes black first. So let's see. So this part is gonna be black. So I'm gonna go all the way black, but not that black, still something like that. To paint this. I'm gonna turn off the eyelashes. So this is gonna be kind of like a nice painting. Did I turn off those eyelashes? There you go. Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't let you paint the others. There you go. Perfect. That's kind of nice. So now that I have that, I'm gonna go with the red. Uh, let's take this red right there. And let's see. I might have the focal chip probably down, down, almost to nothing. And you see how I'm losing resolution here. I might have to go one level up, so Control D. Uh, maybe partial modified, and I don't care, geometry. Yeah, Control D. Switch to the lower subdivision and wise. No letting me go. To do, to, to go control D. Yeah, let's divide. The partial modify only while. Oh, because I modify this again. So I can divide that, switch to the lower subdivision. Or delete free subdivision history again. I don't want to free subdivision. Free subdivision, higher res. Uh, no, I just lost like my. my Details in there, so that's not good. That's not good, and I think that's because I did some history, some modifications in the lower history, and I don't know why that's happening. There. Okay, I have to find out just a second. So one of the things, like I want to keep my lower. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to duplicate this. Let's duplicate this one. Duplicate. I'm gonna hide this one. I'm just gonna call this, name this one original, rename original, enter. And I'm gonna work with this one now. And then I'm gonna project. So, what I'm going to do here, I'm gonna geometry, delete lower, control D, so I can have more details. And once I finish, I can do my, my UVs and things like that. And I can add like a nicer geometry things. Okay. Should I just kind of like go with red like that first before I go through that? Okay. So I'm just going to paint this. It's going to be like choppy, so I have to go lazy ray, yeah, lazy snap. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's see where is one, and let's add kind of like this flower things here, flower things here, 
And that's gonna take a while to paint all this stuff. So what I'm going to do is gonna speed the video until I finish painting. This is just gonna be like a pretty much paint job and pretty much the techniques is nothing that we haven't seen before. So you guys should be good to do them on your own. Okay, so there you go. It's gonna be a time lapse there. Okay, so pretty much I have uh, this um, character painted, which is looking pretty cool. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of intensity. Here is here. Okay, some shadows. Here a little bit darker here in the nose. Close there, and I want to add some red. Ish. This here and the shoulders, arms right there. Okay, this darker here. Okay, right there. Let's blend this out a little bit more. Okay. So that's good. It's much better. Perfect. So I like this. So now that I have that, I'm going to take this one. That's my original one. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to geometry. I'm gonna go to lower. I'm gonna delete higher. Perfect. So now that I have that, I'm gonna turn everything off. I'm gonna shift click. I'm gonna leave this two on. So I have the original and the other one. I'm gonna go to solo mode, Control D, and I'm gonna project, project all. And let's see, Control D, project all. It's gonna take a while. It has a lot of polypen. Control D, project all. And probably I'm gonna go probably to six subdivisions. So let's see. 
until I have like a really clear view one because now I don't have any subdivisions on the other one. So let's see. There you go. And if you see my paint still kind of like pixelated, geometry four, control D and project that is gonna take a while, so I'm gonna pause the video, project all. And I'm going to subdivide one more and project, and that's gonna take a while, so I'm gonna pause the video. Okay, so now that I have everything projected, let's see how everything looks. Make it out of solo mode. Last, okay, let's go. I can definitely start with my kind of like my like the pose. I kind of like want to pose it, like turn the head a little bit, add some strands. But I'm gonna add, add the strands after after posing and add the head as well. So let's see. Now that I have that, before I do that, I'm just gonna go I'm gonna UV this. So I'm gonna go plug plugin UV master work on clone. And there you go. So now I have the clone there. I'm gonna go to C plugin. I will control paint it, protect. So I'm going to protect the face. This part. So I, I want this part for sure. It doesn't have any seams. So I'm protecting that. I'm protecting the front and the arms. Okay. So I'm going to attract here. There. Attract this. So C plugin on wrap. I'm gonna check the seams after this is done. So C plugin. Check seams. That's what I want. That's all I want. Nothing else, nothing more. That's perfect. C plugin. Copy UVs. Now I'm gonna go to my original one here and see plugin. Make sure you see plugin. And which one was the one that I oh yeah, this one. See this one. Oh, I'm confused now. This is the one that okay, this one has all the subdivisions levels. Da, da, da. Perfect. So here C plugin and Base tubes. It's probably going to take a while. Let's see. Okay, should I just go lower in the subdivisions? Okay, that's perfect. That's good. UVs are copy. Perfect. Okay, so now that I have this, I'm done. It's pretty cool. Kind of like one, two. Go here and see plugin. Transpose tipos mesh. Okay, and this is what is gonna happen right there. Okay, so I have this. I'm gonna go right there to the neck. There, boom. I'm going to well, let's do the expression first. So click, click. Click outside. I just want to mask the eyes. I want to bring this up. Okay. And I want to bring this down. And I want to bring this up. Okay, now that I have that, I want to mask this here. Click to soften the mask, invert the mask, and move the head. Boom. Let's move this right there. Let's put that in the middle, right there. And there we go. And let's move See. 
Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about that pose. Let's see. Maybe something like that. Hmm. Not sure, not sure. Let's see, let's try that. Let's see, blogging, people's tip of two. Now, let's see. And I might have to do some magic here. <laughs> no magic, but I probably have to. Move this one up a little bit here with the cheek. So let's see. So now this is done. Transfer complete. Okay. Let's go here and move this up. Right there. And let's move this up the eye here. This is a little bit close. Close, close, close. And Let's take this, not that one, this one, move it up. Let's take the symmetry off, it's going to mess it up right there. Perfect. So let's see, that's the camera. I have the eyes, and I might have to split the eyes. So let's split the eyes. Split the parts, okay. You go. Let's go right to the middle. Boom. Boom. So this one, let's move it up. This oof. It's not right in the middle. It's not right in the middle. Why? Okay. That's the weird stuff because it has X symmetry. Okay. Let's see. something like that it's not that bad but I think I'm gonna have to to work in that smile let's see That's good. Okay, perfect. Now I have the dress, and the dress is gonna be all black. Oh, fill object. Fill object. There you go. Okay. Right there. It's good. And let's see. I want to add. Mm -hmm. dress. I can just scale this out just to give some volume to this set M and extrude all like this and then let's move this in so, right there and I can just go here there you go that's my thread Okay, so having that, I can just add some strands for the hair, or you know, I want to change the hair color for something 
different you can do so i don't know which one will be better i'm gonna try different colors but this is pretty much my tutorial for today like a red head or probably like a bluish kind of too much blue something like that it could work i'm not sure uh, i'm gonna go like blonde no doesn't look good so i will say i'm gonna go with something like yeah, probably brown like that i'm gonna add some strands some more strands like coming down here you want to see the tutorial just check my other video of how to create a uh, stylized hair on my channel and you will notice that some of that stuff that i that i do for for stylized hair okay guys so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial have an amazing and amazing weekend see you next time i had like a really nice surprise for you which is gonna be more views it's gonna be cool so stay tuned stay tuned and take care don't forget to subscribe comment like share and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when i post a video every time take care guys and see you next time bye